this is a big leap of faith for us. I'm not going to say that I'm not worried about money. Most of our videos for this last year have in one way or another been preparing for this announcement. The daily routines of farm life can feed your body and your spirit if you take the time to appreciate the beauty around you. This time of year, early September, the chickens get a lot of treats from our garden. Chickens. Here you go. The chickens don't eat everything. These leftovers were just a little too hard. I'm not gonna try and compost these. They just would not decompose in anywhere the same time frame as everything else in the compost bins. In our last video, we announced that we retired from our jobs and are going to be looking for a much bigger property to have more of a real farm. I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there who would love to retire early and start a farm. It is my pleasure to invite you along with us on this journey. Please keep watching our videos. We are young to be retiring. I'm 52, Wendy is 48. Doing this while we are young and strong enough to start again from scratch is part of the plan. I worked for the Red Cross for 25 years. They had a party to celebrate that milestone and that's where I announced our intentions to retire early to them. We've done this a few times now. We've had a few like big anniversaries lately, like our 20, I think we're doing 20 plus to get cake. Like you gotta be here 20 years for cake. So <laughs> but today it's Brian and the Brian's been here for 25 years, which is incredible. important, it's meaningful, and good people are drawn to the Red Cross because of what we do. It's been an honor for me over the years to work with some really good people here. This isn't just a 25 year celebration. I'm going to announce that <clears throat> I'm going to be retiring early. Uh, Wendy and I are going to focus on homesteading but not here in Oregon. We're going to sell our properties and move maybe someplace like Missouri where we can afford a lot of land to do what we really want to do. So big adventure ahead, big changes, mixed feelings because, you know, I've been here a long time and, you know, I've really enjoyed what we do here. So thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> This plan has been cooking for us for about six months. 
We've told a few family and friends, but it's good to have things finally publicly announced. Most of our videos for this last year have in one way or another been preparing for this announcement. Whether we're talking about wanting more pasture land or getting the horse trailer, there's, there's been a lot of little hints along the way. Even building that Red Baron birdhouse. I've been looking at that empty pole for a long time and I just couldn't not put my birdhouse up there to complete the set before we left. Hello Clyde. I want to address how it is we're able to do this. I'm not going to get into any specific dollar amounts, but this plan has been thought through and stress tested with a financial advisor. The reasons we're able to do this are one, Wendy has had a very good job and has been really able to sock away a lot of money in her 401k. Two, I've done really very well with real estate over the years. And three, we will be moving to the Midwest or South where the cost of living is much lower than it is here on the West Coast. We're not gonna be leaving right away. There's still a lot to do before we can sell our homestead and move. I've been preparing a number of videos to keep posting for you while we get ready. The broad strokes of our financial plan are this. I've sold my rental property in Portland. We're going to use that to pay cash for the new place, so no mortgage. I was with the Red Cross early enough to have a pension. In order to avoid penalties for drawing on retirement funds too early, we're going to live on the proceeds of the sale of this place until we do. Both of us are accustomed to living frugally. As my dad likes to say, you have to know the difference between a need and a want. We were able to save enough to do this by not getting into any unnecessary debt. We always pay off our credit cards at the end of each month. I have never had a new car or even had to finance a used one. Aside from my education and real estate, I have always just saved and bought what I needed without paying interest. Living frugally really is aligned with how we want to live. We are looking forward to a simple, peaceful life, just living as self-sufficiently as possible. The daily routines of farm life can feed your body and your spirit if you take the time to appreciate the beauty around you. This is a big leap of faith for us. I'm not going to say that I'm not worried about money. We're hoping to generate some income from these videos. To qualify for monetization, we have to reach the 1,000 subscriber mark. Right now, we're at about 600. You can really help us out by subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so already, and by sharing our videos with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.